Like, sorry, that, that, that's the reason I keep laughing. I keep thinking of uh, Bill O'Reilly um, uh, with Neil deGrasse Tyson saying, who put the moon there? Like, it's, it's the same are you of, Are you equating me with Bill O'Reilly? Yeah, I'm you're pissed the, off now. You're done. <laughs> yeah. Do it live. It's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay. It's the you're you're the Bill O'Reilly of mo of moral philosophy. We'll put it that way. <laughs> or you're O'Reillying the argument. When you look at the the consensus, where they all agree, all of the different authorities on the definition of faith, it really does summarize that faith is an assertion of absolute conviction, which is assumed without reason and defended against all reason. And that's really what it is. It is. So, in fact, the Christian worldview is a logically incoherent worldview because it is dependent upon, in this case, revelation from another mind. So, your logic comes from external sources that are of a mind. And you cannot logic about those minds because they won't let you. You have no basis for a logically coherent argument about what God can or cannot do, even if one of those arguments is that he can logically make you uh, see an argument in a way that cannot be debated because Good you could still be deceived. Can I ask you one question? Yes. How do you know that your mind isn't being controlled? I don't. I okay. don't. Okay, thank you very much, and then you're that done. The uh, no, basically, I was not that great. And I always tell people this because, uh, you know, I, I think that was one of the reasons why I was such a I think a good science journalist was that I didn't understand half of the things I was covering. Uh, you know, if they weren't the subject I, I studied, which was geology, I would have to learn about these things very quickly, and therefore I would have to explain them in a way that people as dumb as me could understand them. And I would, you know, if I was doing something really complicated, if I had known that subject, I would have written the story in a very complicated way, and very few people would have understood it. But because I was so dumb, I actually had to dumb it right down so that I could understand it, and that meant most of my readers could understand it. So um, I think that's why... Oh, God. Well, see, okay. Uh, I'm not, again, I have no education. I can't give you any sort of account of, like, the history of philosophy and what advancements have been made in philosophy. What I can tell you is that science is a philosophy. I mean, when you're doing science, you're doing philosophy. You're just including empirical data. And that's, I mean, that's really the only difference. I mean, we can... Um, we can we can talk philosophy about you know determinism versus free will or mind and body dualism or morality, uh, but then as soon as we use we have to use philosophy to pin down what exactly it is we mean by these terms. I mean this is what you have to use philosophy to get to Sam Harris's point, for example, which is that morality has to do with conscious experience. I mean, you, you don't get to, you don't arrive at that piece of progress without philosophy. Once you get there, though, science can swoop in and take over and go, okay, well, this, you know, th this would be immoral then, and this would be moral, um, but, but you... I was constantly imitating my teachers. I was annoying them. I, I went to school in pink trousers one time just to, just because I knew it would get a rise out of them, and I was sent home again at uh, I I I once uh, collected Fight lots the of uh, <laughs> I collected lots of bangers one time uh, just before Guy Fawkes night and I put them in the roller in the school grounds tied them all together and and I actually invented this fuse I did far more interesting science stuff outside of science club. Uh, I can't see why the free will is is uh, affected by natural disasters. No, we're we, asking you, know, you to answer the problem no. of evil. Why why the problem of evil uh, when it comes to natural disasters rather than people, say, making bad decisions that they then <coughs> suffer from? Set that aside. Why do earthquakes happen uh, with Could a beneficent just, God? Could I just yeah. clarify okay, a little According bit? to the Bible, if I answer according to the Bible, from the starting point which I have now, you know, um, that's the foundation in, in my worldview. It says that death and suffering came through sin. It also put the natural world in into yeah, but, a state of, but, of decay and, you know, things like that. Hmm? But if... Carl, okay, so, uh, uh, back to Carl. <laughs> No, but it really, I mean, it, it, it first got to me when we had the whole GM debate in Europe, uh, which was 
one of those ridiculous debates where you had people saying that, oh, we, we cannot grow uh, GM uh, plants uh, in, in Europe. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's inher inherently dangerous because it's not natural. It's, you know, it's humans, it's researchers playing God. Come on. Um, I mean, so, yeah. some of these plants are... I, I think are, the point I was going to make is... Um, Smallpox was natural, wasn't it? And I don't think many people really approved yeah. of that. Actually, I'm almost in pain. Now, yeah, I mean, if we do the Princess Leia thing. Actually, I can do Princess Leia. There we go. I'm Princess Leia now. Hey, I'm doing a go. pretty good job, but uh, this braiding <laughs> stuff, you should appreciate it. I, I can't. I've not got my glasses on. I had to take them off to try and braid my hair on. I can only do one ear of the because I'm wearing headphones. I'm done talking, DPR. <laughs> <laughs>